Good day everyone, welcome back to Octopath Traveler with Key Quest. Just picking up from last time, continuing up the story, I'm trying not to make these too long. A little bit longer than I want to, but you know, that's kind of how sometimes the cookie crumbles. Anyways, let's finish up this chapter 2 for Ophelia, get on to the next character, and we can see what their story will be all about. I'm not sure who pick, but I'll decide after this. We got a peeling grape bunch. Maybe that's why I, I feel like it never disappears because I keep getting one. So, 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 so story. Oh. oh, you saved our lives. Wow. You kicked its butt. Yay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now everything's all right. Good riddance to scary monsters. You said it. Come on. Come on, Emil, let's go home. But hang on, if you just give me a little bit more time. You idiot. What more time? To get killed? You think that was the only monster in here? Well it's probably the king of the forest here, oh. at the very least. But I Ah. See, I knew I'd find it. Emil. You, Emil. Such a relief. Nice going, Emil. Thanks. Huh? <laughs> Thanks. Now then. I knew you had it in. Now let's get out of here. Let's make like an egg split. <laughs> Oh, good. That's not how that goes. Let's make like a banana and split. There we go. Hmm. Uh, Emil, I think that there was something he wants to say. He wants huh? to say. He does? <laughs> there. Emil, I said I shouldn't. I shouldn't have said all those things to said. I'm sorry, so sorry for being mean to you. Daryl? Daryl? <sighs> when my mom died, it seemed so unfair. I I think I was just trying to make you hurt too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emil. I'm so sorry. Oh. It's okay. I know you were sad, and I couldn't do anything to make you feel better either. Ah! Exactly. No one else could hurt you quite like a friend can. Wait. Okay, yeah, that was right. But you understand each other now, and that's what counts. Ah! 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 I play nice, you hear? I'm sorry. I'm real sorry, Emil. It's all right. Besides, you saved my life. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I did that. If you didn't jump in the way. That piece would have eaten me alive. Eat me alive. Emil. Emil. <laughs> all right, boys. See if we're back in town. Come on. Yay! Town. Ooh. Let's hear some banter. Hmm. They're very quiet there again. Hmm. Hmm. I think how heartwarming it was to see quarreling friends make good. Hmm, not exactly. They just reminded me of something. And what might that be? My childhood was particularly a happy one, though. So you're probably better off not hearing the details. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to brag. No need to apologize. It was just, it was a long time ago. It's nothing but a memory now, and I think I'm not the only one around with such an uplifting past. I admire your attitude. Your attitude theory, and it's very brave. Hardly. It's something to write home about. 
don't need to write home about it, in fact. Ugh. Because I'm an emo kid, as emos can be. You'd be emo too if you just like me. Da -da 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 -da. So that was quite successful. I do say so myself. Yeah. Let's go on to where we need to go. Normally I'd let off there, but I think it's, it's been quite short here. And that's the wrong way. Going to the road again. Gonna finish up the story again. Gonna need to get to where we need to go again. Da 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 da. By the guidance of the grace of the flame. I have returned, Your Excellency. Welcome back, Sister Ophelia. And how did you find our humble town? Oh, it was quite nice. Although they I noticed a distinct lack of sweets and cakes and stuff. As you know, I love cakes and sweets. I, I, I never got those because I was in the church the entire time. But there's nothing here the same. Yeah. It is a fine place, Your Excellency, with fine children who will surely lead it to a bright future. Her, her thing seems to have where she runs into accidental things and then fixes them. It's almost like they have a theme for each one. Children, you say? Yes. I am not sure of what you speak, but it seems you had a pleasant encounter in Saintsbridge today. Your smile beams as bright as the flame. Mighty Elfric brought fire down from the heavens and carried it to every corner of the realm. Hmm. Every 20 years, one of our faithful sets off on the kindling, following in his footsteps. In Wuxia novels, this would be known as an array of sorts. I wonder if there's some type of big dome over the continent. What if it has both adverse effects and good effects? It is said that the ember born during the rite reflects the heart of the flame bearer who carries it. Hmm. It's very shiny and bright. The heart of the flame bearer? Twenty years ago, when the Archbishop brought us his ember, I recall that his flame burned bright and strong, full of vigor and passion. Oh. Oh. I see some foreshadowing. I wonder if the next flame is going to be even less bright. And it's going to be a signaling that he is getting closer and closer to passing away. And that essentially each time the flame is replaced, it's replaced with a reflection of your own Well, That's why it's done every like 20 years. Hmm. The fire that you have brought us, Sister Ophelia, to my eyes, it looks to be a warm and gentle flame. It looks pretty shiny though. It's kind of got a lot of screen glare. I know not which children you met, but I have no doubt your kindness was a comfort to them as well. You are far too kind, Your Excellency. I only hope that I have helped in some small way. Hey, Emil, did you find that brooch? I sure did. We found it in the woods. The woods? You actually went in? But there are all kinds of nasty beasts in there. You bet there were. But that sister from the church kicked the living snot out of them. Yeah, sister. It was freaking outrageous. Wasn't it, Emil? <laughs> it sure was. Living snot, huh? Sister. It's true though, isn't it? Yeah, she knows Kung Fu. Oh, I wish I could have seen it too. The 
the beast? No, sister here beating it into a bloody pulp. Now, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sister Ophelia is freaking outrageous, isn't she, Emil? She used the power of the light to burn her foes away. <laughs> Because you're the third wheel, Nate. Ha. Ah. <laughs> I do believe my work here is done. And with that, I should journey on to Goldshore. From sea to shining sea. Okay. Sister Ophelia leaves Saint Bridge behind. Her journey far from over. With one last prayer to the sacred flame of this land, that it might bring happiness to the children living here. She embarks for Goldshire, a town in the coastlands. There, the second church awaits her on her journey. Gentle guidance. Alrighty then. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to KeyQuest. Be most appreciated. And if you don't, oh, it's understandable. See you guys again next time. Bye bye. <laughs>